So right now I'm gonna touch basics on when you have a strong intimidating personality because of your spiritual awakeness, awareness, whatever, however you guys wanna see it, all right? I'm gonna basically lay out like, what's it is? Like 10 clarification, 10 reasons why people are intimidated. That's the better word, 10 reasons. All right, y'all, so stay tuned to this video because I got a special surprise for y'all. Y'all ain't wanna miss out on this. Yeah, people are intimidated because of like the amount of knowledge and the amount of like source that you retain in you. So this is just gonna clarify, so you don't need to be overthinking any longer. You should just go to your right path. I right? follow the focus that God, or I mean, follow the path that God had put you here for. Stay focused. So the first thing is, <clears throat> all right, you still require time alone, but despite your capabilities to achieve great things. So you still like are needing to like gain back that energy that you will exert when you're around people. You feel me? All right. The second thing is you listen attentively, which makes you more likable. All right. You're not really quick to shut people off, make you, you know what I'm saying, boost your ego. You just, you know, you just listen. You just resonate with things. You just talk when you, well, when you have something to say or when, you know, it's your turn, turn, turn to talk. All right. The third is you do not need to be the focus point of attention. You don't need to make it all based around you. Actually, the quiet safe thing, you try to just be low key, be invisible and for some reason, people always try to make you the center of like whatever it is that they have going on. All right. The next thing is <clears throat> you are detail oriented. You're very so you elaborate on things. You give, you know, understandings. You give multiple uh, scenarios. You just you give multiple opportunities for people to understand. Yes, that's the correct term. All right. The next is you don't immediately reach a conclusion. You need to see all aspects. Ah, round, well-rounded, actually. Looking at it from multiple standpoints, that way you come to a better conclusion versus just, you know, half-assed information. That's the thing. You don't want to, there's a lot of truth that's misunderstood. It's only truth because people think it's true, but it's not really true because it's not getting information. Or, I mean, actions. It's not wreaking results. So if something doesn't uh, wreak, yield, yield results, that, that's actually the best term. If something doesn't yield results does that make it true it does that make it true just because we think it's true or perceive it's true but it's not yielding results is that still true or is it just we're just like naive you feel me the next is you used to have a little trouble with setting boundaries and feeling guilty you're just too overly nice i mean that's just what it is but you understand now that not everyone deserves or, you know, is your like your energy is well, like powerful. It's not everyone deserves your energy and it's not for everybody. And you understand that now. All right. The next is frequently observe the subtleties. You observe your surroundings like a mother. You always just checking things out no matter where you go, no matter what you just, you know, what I'm saying, you know, what I'm saying like, understanding the external world because we're constantly learning, you know. And then the uh, this next one is you are really courteous. You're just generous. No matter what, you open doors. You keep it for people. You know what I'm saying? You ain't finna shut no door if someone's walking out. You're going to hold it for an extra second. You're going to be more nice, more more courteous, more uh, respectful to people. Understand that everyone is going through a battle, whether or not, you know, whatever shape that battle may view as, you're going through something. You're Either it's financial, either it's, you know, relationship, either it's mental, all right. It's something to, you know, what I'm saying mine is I'm understanding to love everything around me. And I love nature, but I doesn't I don't necessarily agree with the decisions that there's some collective that make. So I have to understand that God put certain things into play. So that way it brings the understanding to all aspects of life. So that's what it is. You feel me? This next one is you are working independently. You are building an empire that you're going to be able to give down. You're going to be able to supply to many, many different people. You are going to be able to pass it down to your children, your wife. You you have life insurances. You have assets. You have portfolio. You have profits margin. You have multiple streams. Like This is something that you are passing down. All right? And this last one, you dislike compelling people, but you know when it's your responsibility and when it's not. So you don't really like when people try to persuade, try to get you out of what you view as comfortable, you view as something that you 
idealized, yes, you don't like that. You view it as like a cop out. Like, how can you project from an external and expect a person to do what another person does? You feel me? Everyone's different. You can't expect a fish to fly, climb trees, just what it is. You know? My point is, everyone has their uniqueness. Everyone needs, that's why everyone has an individual lane. Everyone's lane is meant to be freaking like, ah, uh, what's it called? Focus and literally tamed each. So your lane is meant to be focused and tamed and harnessed just as my lane. So you're supposed to be the owner though. You're supposed to be the MVP of your lane. That way you are at the top of your lane, literally. Yes. Like monks and masters and Shaolin teachers. I'm telling you, you've seen Chinese, Korean, those Japanese martial. Those are like the top of their lane. They're badass. They're talented. You you can see it. They're top of their lane. We need to get back to that. Of everybody, uh, what what can I say? Evolving to the top of their lane. That way, there's no lower aspect. There's no there's no envy. There's no jealousy. That person is great. What is he idolizing? Uh, judging this next person. You feel me? That doesn't make you feel me. So this is what it is. So all right, y'all. If you mentioned in this video, yo, check out the description box, yo. You are the goat. Real quick, I'm like, damn, it's thirsty there, but I, I know y'all thirsty too. I know y'all been tired more. I know y'all been sleepy. I know you've been feeling massive effects from these solar flare. These sunspots is hitting right now. So get plenty of rest, relax. You know what I'm saying? But still, stay focused, stay hungry, and stay ready. Alright, so I'm KT. I'm signing out. Bye.